We're almost there. Over there, we have to go, what, left? Watch out for those death traps. Let's go up there. Now all we have to do is pull this lever, and here it is. The Scarab King's Tomb. Nice place. You could steal the key from your father more often, Asil. Come on, hand over a beer. Damn, we've forgotten the bottle opener. Oh well. Who's going to tell the first spooky story? And um, don't you think it's spooky enough in here already? You don't believe in ghosts, do you, coward? For me, it was spooky enough to come up here and tiptoeing over all those traps. Jeez, we didn't step into a single trap, we didn't meet any mummies, so there's really nothing to worry about. You have desecrated my tomb. Let's see. Six broken urns, that means. A warning! It was seven. Um, oops. Seven? Well, in that case, you're in for a death curse. Okay, now try explaining that to your father. At least we have a bottle opener now. A play of light and shadow, the city's just waiting for you. Great and treats and tasty scorpions under the eye of the sun. Left to the Nile and right by the desert, that's where Egyptians have fun. Yes, this is Cairo, it's all magic and sand. With the greatest of culture, but it's all in your hand. Ooh, it's the god of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair. You prepare, but beware, take care. Ship the pharaoh, go meet the crocodile Feel a lonely by a slave in the city down by the Nile Yes, this is Cairo, it's all magic and sand With the greatest of culture, but it's all in your hand Ooh, it's the god of the gods and the girls with their beautiful hair You prepare, but beware, take care Asil, could it possibly be that yesterday you took my keys? Uh, yeah, well... If the pharaoh finds out, he's going to go bananas. Dad, I've got worse things to worry about. I've been cursed by a mummy, and only the pharaoh can uncurse me. A mummy's curse? It's time that you grow up. You just want to sneak out of your punishment. But that won't help you. You're grounded for a week. An entire week? Dad, I might have just a few more hours to live. I don't want to hear any more excuses. This is pointless. Damn it. In a few hours, the curse is going to send me off into the netherworld. And the pharaoh is the only one who can lift curses. But if I walk through that door... My father will definitely do worse. How do I get out of this situation? Good shot, Black Eye. You go first. Me? Now you go first. Hey, this is my chance to escape. Today must be my lucky day after all. Hey, the vase has unjammed the mechanism. I'll 
I'll take the clothes hanger too. There's a silver coin inside. That could be useful. I can use this as a rope. A clothes hanger made of bendable wire. That doesn't seem to work. Freedom, here I come! Woohoo! Don't worry, Black Eye. I don't think that any danger awaits us inside. Maybe I was wrong. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, what exactly is going on in there? I think you shouldn't go in there if you value your life. But we're fierce mercenaries after all. Right, just got our diploma yesterday. Well then, at least we're going to take care of you. Sounds like a nice warm up. Who was desperate enough to hire you two clowns? It was the Pharaoh. Psst! Man! But if we're gonna kill him anyway... Mm. Do we have to? Sorry, but I'm in a rush. I've got to see the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh? <laughs> You're not going to get to see him that easily. What do I have to do to get rid of you? Get rid of us? <laughs> but we're the ones who want to get rid of you. Oh, I think we can make a little exception if you'd agree to pay a small price in exchange for your life. Let's say 20,000 silver coins. How does that sound? Uh, I only have one silver coin. Well, it's not much. About to start. Thanks again and have a nice day. We've got some business to take care of. What have I done? I have to get my silver coin back. There it is, up there. The Pharaoh's palace. That's where I have to go. Welcome, young man. Welcome to the Great Bazaar. If you ever need some help, just come to me. Where can I get a tasty meal? At the lower market, to the right of the big plaza. You can get fish burgers. They're pretty okay-ish. And if you like wine, it's sold at the stairs leading to the plaza. Can you tell me how to get to the Pharaoh? To the Pharaoh? I don't think that these snobby guards are going to let you pass. They act the big shot all the time. But lately, we saw them running. Running like rabbits all over the place. So even they seem to be afraid of something. Thanks a lot. Maybe I'll come back later. Oh, no problem, my friend.
claims to sell important things. Good morning, Asil. Nice of you to drop by. Wow, what happened to your hand? It's a really awesome tattoo. Hello, death curse? Ring a bell? Yeah, there was a lot going on yesterday. Yeah, but the chicks are gonna be all over you, man. Well, just for a little while at least. Can you help me get rid of this curse? Help you? Wait a minute, that would mean... Try to get into the palace, probably mess with the pharaoh, and after that, most likely trouble with the gods. Mm, let me think about it a minute. No thanks, and I mean that as a friend, of course. Besides, I can't take off from here anyway. My sick father's business would be ruined. Do you want to buy something? What do you have? Well... I have cured rattlesnake meat from Abu Simbel, or these really cool Cleopatra shower curtain rings, and brand new Sphinx head trimmers. Don't you have anything special? Okay, I haven't offered you any of the really good stuff, like the treasure map. Because you don't have any money anyway. A treasure map? It leads to the greatest treasure in the desert. But unfortunately, I can't really sell it. Why not? Because it's so valuable, you would have to give me a pile of gold for it. How about this? You give me the map, I'll find the treasure, and then I'll pay. Hey, if I ran my business like that, I really would be broke. Then keep your map. I'm gonna be rich and powerful someday anyway. Of course you will. Looks like someone forgot that here. young man have we met before may I help you across the street but I don't want to cross the street at all I'm just doing some shopping The boat that has it all. Take the river taxi. Hello there, pretty girl. Let's see what I can do for you. How about a charming summer dress? Or maybe something rustic? I also have underwear in stock. Panties, bras in all sizes. I even have a dressing room. There's one that would fit you just perfectly. Stop! What? I'm not a girl, Dodo Brains. No kidding! No. Damn it! And I thought the pharaoh's optician had found the right glasses for me. Please forgive me, and I won't call you girl anymore. How about lady? But I don't see any clothes, just cloth. Unfortunately, something bad already happened yesterday. I went over to the fruit stand to buy a few yummy melons, and suddenly, as I was checking the melons, well, it, it turned out <laughs> they weren't melons at all. They were, you know, uh, they were the market woman's, um, well, anyway, my cheek hurt for hours. Poor crazy fool. See ya. Farewell, my pretty girl. <laughs> 